Hi, this is Made by Mommy, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a unicorn pencil hugger. And for those of you who would prefer a horse or pony or a zebra, you can use the same design, just leave the horn off. The number of rubber bands you'll need are 92 in the color of the body, 4 for the color of the horn, 12 in the color or colors you want the mane to be, and 2 in the color of the eyes, or if you prefer, you can use miniature pony beads for the eyes. I'm going to show how to do it with rubber bands though. You set up your loom in the staggered configuration. I'm using a rainbow loom, but you should be able to follow along using most brands of looms as well. And we are ready to begin. The first rubber band is placed where the arrow is, going forward. Now the second rubber band in the center is going to include the mane. I'm going to make a rainbow mane and we want to put four rubber bands in each position. So starting with the first two colors in my rainbow, I'm going to slide one of the bodied colored bands in between so that I've got all four of those bands on like this. And then I'm going to place that rubber band right here on the loom with those four bands loose. And then I'm going to take a second bodied colored rubber band and place those right on top like that. Then the next position, and because I'm doing a rainbow, that's two different colors. So I'm taking now my yellow and my green sliding those onto one of the body colored bands and then extending that body color band over the next position like that and then taking another band to match the body and placing it on top and once more for the main you take a body colored band and then four in the colors or colors color or colors you want the main to be. Slide those over the next two pegs and then add another rubber band on top. And now just taking two at a time in the body color, we're going to go to the next two positions. Great. Now we're ready to do the sides. So for here, taking two at a time, we're going to go down for all the way till there. So that's one, two, three, four. five and just trying to keep these on twisted number six and you'll know you're in the right place when it's just a little bit past that center row and we're going to repeat that on the other side now two rubber bands at a time for those first six pegs in the chain And if I'm going fast, feel free to pause to catch up. I'll be here when you get back. So this is what your loom should look like now. And before we do the extensions to hug the pencil, we just want to complete the bottom of the unicorn's body. We do that by going from the center peg to the end and repeating for the other side like that and then we can continue two at a time until we reach the very last peg I 
I definitely want to see in the comments below if this is the first pencil hugger you're making or if you've made either of the other ones that are already posted, which are the panda bear and the girl or princess. And I'd also love to hear if you'd like to see more pencil huggers and what those should be. So that is one side and now we can do the other. I'm planning definitely to do a koala. My friend Rob over at Justin's Toys put in that request. And, uh, you know, if Rob from Justin's Toys asks you to do something, you do it. So, Rob, that is coming up. And here we go. Down the side. Ooh, flying rubber bands. Okay. So if you've made it all the way to the end, you're going to place a rubber band on each of these two bottom pegs. This one we're only going to put around twice. And here. And then we need the cap bands for the body to keep the three rows together. So you have this one here with the bottom of the body. You're going to go up to the next position and around the three pegs like a triangle and do that all the way up except on the very last one. So you stop there. You don't add one here. And that is the basic structure of the back of the unicorn's body. And we're going to need more rubber bands to create the nose, the ears, and the eyes. But we can't put them on yet. This is a really neat design that requires half hooking and then adding more rubber bands. So I'm going to block that just so the camera will focus a little bit easier. And we're going to take our hook here and start at the very bottom in that position. And connect these rubber bands on the bottom. This will be familiar to those of you who have done my other huggers. We do the legs to start and then connect it to the body before continuing. So we're going to keep going up to where the extension meets the body. We're going to bring that rubber band to the center and one here that goes forward. And then we're going to come back to the bottom here. We do not want to keep going forward yet. So coming to this position, separate out your bands from the cap so you can see where to catch. And you may need to place a thumb on this cap so that it doesn't come flying off. Like that. And we keep going. Yeehaw! Okay, from this position, first we're going to take these two that are on top here and bring them to the middle and then the two that remain you'll see they go forward where they started and now the fun part put your thumb here so that this whole thing doesn't come apart and pull off the bottom and twist it around, skipping this peg and going up to the next one there. And this is where you're going to stick the pencil through later. Again, keeping your finger here so that you don't take too much off. And then twisting around and placing on that peg. And now you can continue 
with the rubber bands, we're going to do this middle row, catching those two rubber bands that go straight forward and bringing them up. for two, and then one more, and then stop when you've done the bands that cover that first section of the main. Come over to the side, bring these forward, and one more. and then stop. Make sure you've stopped here. You don't want to keep going yet or your unicorn will have no nose. And coming back again to this position, right under where you added on that hugger piece. This is gonna keep that in place for you. You're just gonna go ahead one more position and stop. So now you've connected the bottom portion of the unicorn's body, leaving the upper head undone for the moment. We're gonna slide these down because we're gonna layer on top of this what will be the sort of snout and nose. Now we're ready to place some additional rubber bands for the ears, the eyes, and the nose taking two in the color of the body from the top down one and now creating a cap by wrapping around three times if you can on that one position and do that again here and wrapping around again three times second time and that's the third. That's going to be the tip of your ear. So if you want that to be a really tight tip you could do it a fourth time depending on the brand of rubber bands you're using. We're now going to skip a peg and then take two bands and place them there and in the center. So that is the fourth peg down to the fifth and then one more here so we've just done that that and that and we now need to do these ones that angle into the center so that goes here and here and from where you have these all on one peg we're going to do another two rubber bands going forward and then here we need another cap band wrapped around three times and we need one across these three pegs to keep the nose together and because we want this to be a little narrower than the body, we're actually going to stretch this and put it a, a single rubber band around twice to help taper that in a bit. That's the nose. And now to set up the eyes, take a rubber band in the body color and wrap it around two pegs twice. We want that rubber band to be tight so that this looks nice and neat. And here too, wrapping it around twice like that. And then take two rubber bands in the color you want the eyes to be. This gets wrapped around, if you can, four times. Was three. There we go. Four. Let's 
so that the eyes also will be very neat uh, if you don't have beads. If you have beads, then you can string those on those doubled over bands. And then to set up for the horn, again, we're gonna put these bands around twice because we want the horn to be really narrow. You can do it that way or you can twist it on your fingers like this and then stretch it. Everybody has their own favorite way to double over the band. See, so these are each a single rubber band that's been placed around those pegs twice. And for the tip of the horn, we want this wrapped four times. And that is all the rubber bands. Starting with the ears, we're going to pull back that cap band with our hook and catch those two rubber bands that are going to go up here. Thumb over the cap so it doesn't pop off and bring it there. And then we want to move this out of the way so I'm catching just this cap band and swinging the ear around to the top. And I'm going to repeat that on the other side. Thumb to keep that from popping off. And then on hooking the ear and rotating it around to the top. Like that. And then getting my eyes ready. If you have a metal hook, this is actually a great time to use it. When you're working with bands that are doubled like this, the tension is pretty high. So it makes it a much greater risk to break your plastic hook. Um, so. But if you have a plastic hook only, then just work with it carefully. So that's one, and we're going to do the other side. Like that. And to bring these eyes into their position, bring it your hook in to the thick portion and put your thumb over it. So you can pop that eye off of the loom. You may want to do a little bit of tugging to even out those bands if one is sort of pulled further than the others. And then looking at this cap band that's on the second peg, we're gonna lift the core. I'm just sliding this down so it's easier to access to the thinner portion. Then I'm going to lift this corner of the cap band up, slide the eye onto that band and then replace it where it was on the peg. So now your eye is where it needs to be. I'm going to do that again for the other side. So sliding my hook through to the thick portion, putting my finger over to keep it neat, adjusting the bands that are the eye color to make them as even as I can, and then coming over to where that cap band is, sliding this down onto the narrower part, unhook that cap band, slide your eye on, and then replace the cap band. So now your two eyes are in place. You have other opportunities to fuss with the exact position of those bands. Uh, but that is the idea right there. And now um, the horn can wait. We can start with the nose beginning at the cap in the center. 
reaching in to catch just those two unhooked bands that go forward like that and then in the center the top two if you only can catch one at a time that's fine I'll watch wrap that around I got one oh there's the other one sometimes that's easier than trying to get the two at once and that way you could be certain too when you pull just one you can see exactly where it goes you see where that V formed that's where it goes when you have a stack this high sometimes it's better to just be slow and do one at a time than make a mistake trying to grab both now that that's the only one left though I can do two and those go to the center just like that and now looking here catching those two bands that go forward no harm done here that's just that right there and on this side And that's going to be the nose. And now we can do the top of the face, going through all of these to catch the two that go forward. And here too, reaching back with that cap band that's connecting the eyes to get just the two that go forward again. And now we want to put our ear into its position. So we're just going to pull that up and over the peg onto those two bands that we just put into position like that. And we can do the other side of the face now the same way. So starting from here, going all the way under, making sure to have the cap band that goes across the face behind. You don't want to be trying to pull that forward. So you see that cap band is behind my hook. This cap band behind the hook in there. Good. Now you go forward. And again, forward. And we're going to loop our ear over again. Stretch it over that peg. Now your ear's in the right position. And working up the middle. And before we do this last one, you want to bring both sides of the head to this peg. So I'm going to catch these four bands on my hook and then stretch them over the center peg. And I'm going to do the same with the other side. Good, good, good. It's coming together. And we have now just to get this one rubber band all the way down there that holds them all together. Tug that up, then release the bottom rubber band, pull it through, and tug up to create a slip knot. If this rubber band just broke on you, you can go ahead and put another one in before you take these all off the peg. But you don't want to pull too tight on this because it will break. We can tighten it after this is off the loom. So the only thing we're missing now is our horn. We can add that after. I'm going to take this off so that you can see the whole process of making a pony. And then if you want to continue to add the horn, you would do so. So loosening from the bottom and the sides first.
These are all secured together now, but you still don't want to pull on it carelessly. Uh, it's sort of a delicate point that you don't want to strain any one rubber band and have it snap on you. That would be so sad. And for this last position, sometimes it helps to put your hook in so that you can pull them all off at once. And gently remove your hook, and now you can pull on that to tighten it. And you'll see we've got our shape of nose, but we need to bring our eyes around to the front. There's one eye and the other eye. They're now in the front where they're supposed to be. And the mane is all set. Now this band, which you probably don't want to see because you're planning to use this on a pencil, not as a hanging charm, you would just stick your hook through the body, catch that loop, and pull it down so that it's not sticking up at the top of the head and it's sort of hidden behind the head of your pony. So now if you want to add a horn on, you would go back to your loom and create that chain. So for this last position, we're going to create a slip knot, sliding these two bands into the center of those two, like that. And then you can pull your whole horn off of the loom. And there it is. Figure out exactly where on the head you would like it positioned. Put your hook through those bands. Try and catch at least two. Catch the two loops that you have at the bottom of your horn. One loop, two. Pull that through the head like this and then stretch those two up and over the entire horn, putting the horn in the center like that. It's easier with my hands than the hook. Just like that. If you liked this pencil hugger, please give it a big thumbs up below so that I know that you'd like to see more like this one. Also, please write in the comments what pencil hugger you'd like to see next and subscribe so that you can be notified when I post additional videos. Check out my channel for other pencil huggers like the girl and the panda for a bookmark made with duct tape and a charm on the rainbow loom and lots of other videos like the pencil, the lily flower, and the cupcake. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to looming with you again. Bye-bye.